video. In today's video I'm going to show you a trace that I normally use when I go fishing for stianbras. And yes, it's a really good trace, it doesn't tangle so much. So let's get started. So first off you're going to take your needle line. Probably 40 centimeters. Cut it off. You take your hook. You make a knot. It doesn't matter what knot you use. Especially a strong knot. So it will be more like a sliding sinker trace that I'm using. My You take a swivel, attach your hook, trace to the swivel. Then you have it. You can cut off these stubs. And here's your first step. The second thing that you will do you will you need some beads for the next step and then you will get a sinker it should be longer than your hook trace make sure that it's longer it's probably yep it's longer so your sinker trace must be longer than your hook trace so then you attach your sinker also to a swivel make a knot I've done use this just for stem I use this for the most of my traces when I'm catching it they see and uh, see it's a bit rough so now you can see this is your sinker this is your hook trace you can see that your sinker is a little bit longer so the whole thing is your sinker when you're throwing in, you should hook it on to your hook. So you should clip it on onto this. You'll see there's a clip. You clip it on. Then when you throw in lands and sand, it will unclip and then you'll be free. So now all that you're going to do is you're going to take one B. So imagine this is your line from your reel and your rod. This will be the line. You will put your sinker. Your sinker will you put the line of the reel through. So it will move freely. It will move in the water. Then you put in a bead. The bead you should put the bead in so it doesn't tangle. Because without the bead it will mostly tangled in the water then you take your hook hook tray and attach it to your line of the reel so let's make a knot So this will be your trace. If this is your rod, then it, there goes your line. It will look like this. On your first, first you will have your sinker. There's your sinker and the swivel. It will freely move in the water. Then you will have a bead. You will have this bead. And the, this, this line is from your rod, so it will move to this swivel and it will stop here, it won't move further and on this swivel is your hook so when you're fighting a fish you are fighting it in a straight line because this is your rod, this is the hook will always be in a straight line and so normally you will use a much stronger rear line on your hook trace than on your sinker trace so that uh, when you got the fish on it won't break off easily and you would prefer to lose your sinker I'd rather lose sinkers than to lose some big fish that's why I would normally use 
wrote like a 25 kilogram little line on my hook and then wrote like a like a 16 to 19 kilograms little line for my sinker so yes thank you for watching this video can you please like and subscribe and yes i think this is one of your best traces to use for catching stian bass thank you